march on to the state of Nevada now, a race considered still too close to call. Worth six electoral votes and one of the smallest remaining prizes, but according to the Associated Press, it would put Joe Biden right at the magic number of 270. You see the vote count right there, and a lot of people are watching Nevada. We were expecting um, a potential announcement from Nevada today when we came into work this morning. That did not happen. There are still a lot of votes left to count. Let's get the latest on the situation in Nevada from News Nation reporter Joe Moeller. He's live in Las Vegas for us. Joe? Well, like you said, people around the country were hoping to get some sort of answer from an update here in Nevada today, but this race tonight is still too close to call. According to the Secretary of State, around 190,000 uh, votes still have to be counted. Now, tonight, Biden still has a slight lead over President Trump, but only by 12,000 votes. Here in Clark County, the Elections Department was counting 51,000 votes today alone. Those results won't come in until tomorrow morning. Mail ballots continue to, to, continue to come in as well. Today, the registrar of voters said he doesn't expect to get the bulk of mail ballots until this weekend. It is possible we won't know who will take Nevada for days. Our goal here in Clark County is not to count fast. We want to make sure that we're being accurate. The results in the state of Nevada obviously are going to be very important to the entire country, and that is our number one goal. Mail ballots here in Nevada had to be postmarked by the 3rd and will continue to be counted through next week. The Secretary of State says 90% of the remaining 190,000 ballots are from here in Clark County. Now, demonstrators have been outside of the election center uh, throughout today uh, protesting the counting process, and they are still out here. I'm not sure if you can hear them back there, but that will continue throughout the evening tonight. Now, the next update we are expecting from the election center here is tomorrow morning. Reporting in North Las Vegas, Joe Muller, I'll send it back to you. All right, let's stick with Nevada for a moment. Uh, Michael Latner back with us to talk about those remaining ballots. Michael, President Trump nearly lost Nevada in 2016. It is a state that trends towards the Democrats. Uh, you just heard the numbers there. Uh, what do you make of those as you're crunching things? Yeah, we don't have um, much to crunch right now because they've been pretty slow in, in terms of finishing up their, their vote count. Um, although there's a good reason for that. They, they've got a lot more votes than they have usually, and uh, it's, you know, it's hard to recall this, but we're pandemic, and so there are a few boulders and, and there's less infrastructure, as I said earlier. Um, again, I, I think similar to, to Arizona, um, the 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 degree of change that we're seeing as these uh, votes are coming in um, just doesn't look like it's going to change the overall trend. You were saying earlier this afternoon, Michael, when we talked that you thought some of the, the late ballots might actually break for President Trump. Uh, I'm wondering why that is, because we keep hearing that uh, Clark County is so heavily Democratic in Las Vegas there. Yeah, that's right. And, and there is a logic to this, right, in that the Republican Party was uh, campaigning on uh, the, the problem with the lockdown and how it affects the industry, which is very tourist-based in, in Las Vegas in particular. And so um, we expected to see probably an amplification of that late pro-Trump vote, which frankly we've seen across the country. And so the question is, is whether it's enough to actually make a difference. In these late vote counts coming in, we're actually seeing Vice President Biden's lead extend uh, ever so slightly. So we're just not seeing it to the degree that we thought in Las Vegas. Michael, you've been great. We still have another state to get through with you, so we'll have you stand by and we'll talk with you in just a bit.